Don't be like the Queen of England, who ate dead animal after dead animal, went through her entire body, and then was shit out into the toilet. Thousands of them, thousands of innocent animals treated that way by the Queen of England. Because of what? Because of stupidity? No, because the Queen of England wasn't actually brave or kind. She was merely polite. Welcome to class. Today we're going to be reviewing this video. Apparently it's about Nikocado Avocado. You know that animal abuser who did a video about me who actually claimed that eating vegetables is somehow unhealthy. Meanwhile, he weighs 350 pounds and is insane. Yeah, him. Let's watch it and let's evaluate and see what we think about this. This could be very interesting. Might give us some sort of insight into his psychology. Maybe he is somebody who can transform. Apparently he used to be vegan. I don't believe it. But anyway, let's watch it together. Approximately two weeks ago, while sitting in his $2.3 million penthouse apartment, Nikocado Avocado would upload a video weighing himself to his channel with over 2.5 million subscribers. 352.4 352. I think not. His weight of 352 pounds is in stark contrast to his beginning weight of between 150 and 160 pounds. When I started my box, I was 150 pounds. Maybe 160. Can't really remember. When he was a modest vegan living a fairly simple life in... He was a vegan, apparently. Do you think he really was? How can somebody go from being vegan to being not vegan? How do you go from caring about animals and not wanting them to have their throats cut and, and being stabbed in the neck and being thrown into gas chambers? How do you go from not wanting that to being like, meh? You don't. If you're vegan, a true vegan, you are a vegan forever and you always try to do the least harm. Columbia. He moved there way back in 2014 after meeting his then boyfriend Orlin in a vegan Facebook group for men. Okay, he met his boyfriend in a vegan Facebook group. What was he doing in there if he doesn't care about animals? Just trying to pick up somebody? Doesn't make sense. And, but problematically, Nikocado Avocado didn't have much to do in Colombia, so he began to upload videos of himself to the YouTube website, playing violin and discussing the many aspects. Uh, wait, there's so much to say. If you have nothing to do in your life, go and help somebody. Don't just start making videos filming yourself all the time. Make videos to help others. That's when you can make videos. Otherwise, just get yourself into shape. Go and help the millions of people who need help and the millions of animals who need help. But don't just make videos focusing on yourself, your makeup, your shoes, whatever the heck you're doing. That is not a way to live a life. We have a planet to save here. But look at him. See that shirt? It says, not your, and there's a cow. I bet you it says, not your mother. And usually, if, if, if it's a vegan shirt, truly, it will say, not your mother, not your milk underneath. So that would mean that he is an ethical vegan, unless he was just pretending to be for some crazy reason. ...of veganism. This is my first ever mukbang. Mukbang, 
mukbang. I actually don't know how to pronounce it, but anyways, um. Where he would state that prior to becoming a vegan, he considered himself somewhat overweight. Most people that watch my channel. Before becoming vegan, he was overweight, apparently. That's weird, that's interesting. Okay, so he lost weight and became in better shape when he was vegan? So why did he stop being vegan? I don't know that I'm vegan. I've been vegan for almost four years. Like another month or two would be like four year mark. Four years? It doesn't make sense. You're not vegan for four years and then you suddenly stop. I totally changed my life. I used to be obeso. I used to be like... Obeso? He's saying he used to be obese. You see his arms? They went way the heck out to here. So weird. Do you think it's even true? <laughs> Like this. While it was certainly a benefit that veganism helped Nikocado lose weight and was assisting him in staying thin, as he continued to maintain the vegan diet, it would go from a blessing to a curse. Yeah. I rotted a tooth. I had low B12, B12 deficiency. I developed hypoglycemia. I don't know if it's directly related to the veganism, but I never had that before. Uh, what? You're blaming your health problems on veganism? No. X. Nobody blames their health problems on veganism and is sane. Your health problems are because you didn't take care of yourself. What did you say? You had a rotting tooth? What did you say? Let's go back. To a curse. Yeah. I rotted a tooth. I had... Okay, were you brushing your teeth? Were you actually eating properly? Were you flossing your teeth? Did you know that sometimes people just have problems with teeth, no matter whether they're vegan or not vegan? Has nothing to do with you being vegan. What's the other thing? Low B12. Low B12. Were you taking your B12 vitamin? You know, I worked for a, as a nurse for 25 years, and people who were eating meat still had B12 deficiency. So that has nothing to do with veganism. That has to do with you not taking your B12 pills. It's not that big a deal. You take one pill every week, or you can spread it out. It's not. I'm giving you an X for these. Bullshit about your teeth. Bullshit about the vitamin B12. What else? B12 deficiency. I developed hypoglycemia. I don't know if it's directly. You developed hypoglycemia? Do you realize that some people, in fact, the vast majority of people, develop hypoglycemia who are actually not vegan? Go and check right now. If only one out of about a hundred or a thousand of us are vegan, then all the people with hypoglycemia cannot blame it on veganism. What you're saying doesn't make any sense. X!